has brings a, a, a lot of assets to the table and yet the foreign ministry is one area where the prime minister has shown personal interest and he's done a lot in that regard. Uh, who do you think uh, is going to get the external affairs ministry this time considering Sushma Swaraj is out of the game? Well, look, I, you know, I can't really say for sure who's going to get it. But I think it's important to remember that, in fact, S. J. Shankar and Modi had a very close and good working relationship, um, you know, in the past. And, um, you, like, Mr. Prime Minister Modi relied very heavily on Jay Shankar. He was the U.S. ambassador. He'd been appointed by Manmohan Singh. I believe that at their first meeting, um, you know, Dr. Jai Shankar asked whether he would be retained in the position and, you know, Modi said, of course. And he continued and then was, in fact, elevated to foreign secretary. And, in fact, the two men worked incredibly closely together during the, you know, early years of un until Dr. Jai Shankar retired. So it is entirely conceivable that Modi, I think, would feel very comfortable in trusting um, Dr. Jai Shankar with charge of the ministry. It's a ministry that he knows very well. It's clear that uh, Mr. Modi is putting a lot of emphasis on foreign policy. Jai Shankar brings a tremendous wealth of knowledge to and experience to the brief. And I mean, it's hard for me personally to imagine Jai Shankar playing the role of a deputy to another foreign minister with less experience. Um, than he has, but I could well see him being entirely comfortable in the role of foreign minister for a prime minister who himself takes a great and keen interest in foreign relations because that is a relationship that they had before when he was the foreign secretary and previously as U.S. ambassador. So I think um, I certainly wouldn't rule it out. I mean, it would be an interesting choice. I don't know if there's any past precedent for a former foreign secretary being elevated to the um, to the top, you know, to the top job in the ministry, um, the political job. But I certainly consider it definitely a possibility. Right. And here's the other thing about uh, S.J. Shankar. He's worked very closely and very successfully with both the dispensations. Uh, in 2009, he was sent as India's ambassador to China. When his term ended, he was under consideration to become foreign minister under then Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, but there was internal pressure from uh, Dr. Singh's government. And uh, then, as we know, S.J. Shankar ended up not becoming uh, the foreign minister of India. But uh, he's also worked closely with Narendra Modi. And in 2014, he managed the Grand Madison Square Garden event for the prime minister when he visited uh, the U.S. And then, of course, he steered India's policy through the Doklam standoff with China. Uh, so he has a very, very rich record. Uh, but we were talking about the foreign ministry as well. And uh, if, if François Gauthier is still with us, uh, I knew Mr. Yes. Jayashankar when he was ambassador in Paris. Right. And he was a very nice man, you know, very courteous and very discreet. Though I was surprised when he was made, uh, you know, foreign secretary because it uh, doesn't seem like a forceful man, but apparently uh, Mr. Modi must have appreciated him.